Will you search through the lonely earth for me? Climb through the briar and bramble. I'll be your treasure. Alright, guys, we're out again today. Got on someone else's permission. Tiny bite, so it's got a nice little buckle. Look. Alright. Oh! Ah! Still got the pin in it, just about. Pretty cool, isn't it? I think I might have a little bit of age to it. Yeah, awesome. Hello, little piggy. What you call pork chop and bacon? Hello, there, little piggies. Yeah, the odour's a little bit fresh. <laughs> right, we've moved fields now. We've come to another field. Uh, yeah, it's button field, I guess what we're going to call that. We had about eight or nine buttons out of there. Um, funny enough, Brian didn't have any. It's weird. Anyway, it's on another hole. Down there, that only little hole. And that's what we got out. It's not quite what we wanted. It's the old fashioned pound coin. Pounds a pound. It's all spendable. Well, not spendable, but bankable. I'll take that. But I'd rather I was hanging a bit older. Yeah. Right, see you on the next hole. Okay, guys, right, I've got a 23 here. It's down here, so we're going to dig it. See what we get, eh? It's down there. A little bit of an iron grunt there as well. To be fair. Nothing with power straight away. Let's see what the machine picks up, shall we? Right. It's in there. Alright, let's uh, do a bit of a live dig, shall we? And see what we get. So, somewhere in that corner, there's something. Nothing. <laughs> Something that's broken. Ah, oh, bugger. Okay, right, we'll carry on. It's, um, there's a footpath over there. I look at the map. Goes over to that, from that side, that side, and then goes down. All depending on what Brian wants to do, whether we get to go down there or not. But down there, there is some uh, industrial sites on the map. It's, it's within the area that Brian's got, but I don't know if we're going to go down or not. Let's see. Where is he talking the devil? We're still over there. He was digging a big hole. I thought he was digging down in Australia. Alright, let's carry on, eh? Do you know, countryside, eh? All them trees, ferns up there. Beautiful. Goes right way up the valley. Alright, let's dug a number eight. A little rim fire. A two two rim fire. Nothing special, but not too many signals in this particular field. A little bit windy. There you go. Do you know, look at the countryside, eh? All them trees, ferns up there. Beautiful. Goes right way up the valley. Alright, let's dug a number eight. A little rim fire. A two two rim fire. Nothing special, but not too many signals in this particular field. A little bit windy. There you go. No, I had an iffy, iffy 19, it was quite hard to signal really. It wasn't coming through very clear. That's uh, probably a 3 or 3 bullet tip I guess, more than likely. 
Yeah, this feels a little bit quiet, this one. But hey-ho, we'll keep going, see what else we can come up with. Right, so we're on our way home now. Um, that was nice, nice day out. Didn't find a great deal, but that's the reality of metal tech, didn't it, really? Can't always find it. Got a few nice buttons. Um, a couple of pewter buttons. Yeah, the other fields we went in was a bit quiet. I think we've done, uh, let me see how many fields we do. One, two, three fields. Three fields, yeah. Um, don't think Brian found a great deal either, to be fair. Um, the best field we went in was the first one with all the buttons. I think I found, you know, um, seven or eight buttons, something like that, of various different shapes and sizes. Unusual, though, wasn't it? Why are there so many buttons in one field? Um, yeah, so we had a great day out. Great day out. We had a great day out. Um, nice countryside. And it makes a change for me to get out in midweek. Um, yeah, so yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Hopefully, I'll be down the beach tomorrow. Um, if the weather's not too bad, that is. Just have a little wander along the beach. I might do a bit of coin shooting. Um, might even go on the wet sand, depending really, I'm not sure. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching and we will catch you on the next one. Morning. Right, early clock is, uh, what is the time? Six o'clock, probably just for ten to six-ish, something like that. Right, coming down the beach. Um, yeah, you see that sunrise coming up over there? I don't know if you can see that. We spin around a little. I'm not sure see that. Beautiful colours, and sun coming through the clouds. But really weird is the moon's coming up. See that? But just up there, you probably can't see it actually, can you? But yeah, the moon's up there as well. So how bizarre. Right, there's not a lot going on down the beach by the looks of it. Just sort of scoping out from a high point. Um, there's a few new rocks appear down there. But mostly, all the rocks that are normally available over there are all gone. They're not, they're not there. They've disappeared. Which is not a good sign. It means we've had a dump of sand. A couple of nights ago we had a bit of a storm, so I guess and that's what's happened. It's a little bit of a storm, a bit of a blow up, and all the sand's brought in and covered a lot of the rocks over. Should I go on the wet sand or should I try a bit of coin shoot on the beach? I don't know now. I'm in two minds what to do. Hmm. Well, I guess I should go to wet sand. I haven't done that for a while. Just see if we can pick anything else up. All right, we'll see you in the first hole. Okay, well, I've walked quite a long way to the beach. Right, right, right down there. Um, yeah, nothing. Not even a whisper. Just had a bit of junk out, and uh, got another little bit of junk here, probably. Let's we'll see what it is, shall we? There's another bit of junk, it's a bottle top. A little something or other. Um yeah. So it's that. Nothing exciting, just a little bit of junk. Right, if you watched some of my previous videos, this area here is where I found at Bronze Age Axe. I keep getting drawn back here. Um you never know. I was kinda kinda looks if there's anything else about. I feel a bit like a moth. A moth going to a light, you know, because it was something that was really special to find it here. I always seem to be drawn to this particular area. Yeah, so we had quite a dump of sand by the looks of it, and there's not a lot, not a lot showing. So what I probably end up doing is um, just have scout around this little bit here, and probably go up along the shingle and walk back, back along the shingle, I guess. Just see if we can do a bit of coin shooting or something because uh yeah there's not a lot going on here at the moment who knows we might find something yet sun's coming out though 
Woohoo! I tell you what, when I got out this morning, it's, you really know summer's coming to an end. Kids are going back to school in the next couple of days. Yeah, I think we're, we're going into autumn. Changing of the season, as I say. Changing of the season. All right, let's crack on and see if we can find something, eh? <laughs> right, I think there's something down here. Probably just going to be a bit of lead, actually. Oh. Somewhere there. Can't be deep. And that's it there. Yep. And it's just a bit of crap. But it's my bit of crap. Okay, so we've got a 21 here, somewhere in that pool. So, turn pinpoint one. So somewhere there then. Get me a little digging tool out. Let's see what we can unearth, eh? Yeah, that's it there, a bit of crap. <laughs> yep. Yeah. God, what's my resort to, eh? Digging crap. Yeah, it's a bit of alley. It's, um, yeah. Nothing special about this at all. Alright, let's carry on. Alright, guys, just a 21. Um, it's kind of weird. Oh, that. Is that fishing weight or. But if it's fishing weight, where's the clip or whatever you hold it on with? It's too big to put line down through it. I don't know. It's weird, isn't it? Could it be cannon shot? It's definitely lead. We'll have a closer look at that when we get home, I think. I've never found one like that before. I mean, I found lots and lots of dead weights, but I haven't found one like that. Not that size. Small ones with a hole for it, or it'll have a metal clip on it. It's got nothing. We'll have a look when we get home. Alright, guys, got a 21 here. I'm just thinking uh, that lead ball, I said it was cannon shot. Could it be cannon shot? No, of course it can't be. It's lead. Duh. Early morning. I <laughs> haven't got me. Your brain working properly yet. Yeah. Anyway, let's see if we can find it. Right, so somewhere there. Let's get me a little scraper out. I mean, there's some black, black sand there, so I don't know, it could be something. Or it just could be a bit of crap. And it's a little bit crap, isn't it? There it is. But it's not even lead. No, a bit of bloody tin. All right, let's carry on. All right, guys, we're a little old just down there. Got a little bit of timer fuse. It's got numbers on it, so that's kind of cool. I like it when you get that. We've got four, five, six, seven. Never found a whole one of them. That'd be pretty cool. Just slightly caught with this with the uh, sand scoop, but it's alright still. 